Hello, God's children. Jesus loves you. The update on the rapture and solar eclipse, blood moon, major signs from the heavens. Putin says he was prepared to raise a nuclear alert during the crime and crisis. A 6.2 earthquake hits Papua New Guinea. With the wars and rumors going on, and with the earthquakes going on in the world, we do not know the day and hour our Lord Jesus comes back. Only the Father knows. Redemption is nigh. Be ready. Solar eclipse, blood moon, major signs from the heavens. Let me take you to Joel chapter 2, verse 31. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and terrible day of the Lord to come. Um, we are in the current tetrad. It's a series of four lunar blood moons occurring on Jewish holidays from uh, 2014 through 2015. Based on historical evidence, another significant chapter of the world history or Jewish history is about to occur. And 1493 to 1494, and through 1949 through 1950, and 1967 through 1968 was our last three uh, tetrads, or four blood moons that landed on feast days. And they had a lot to do with Israel. We have seen a lot happen with Israel in 2014 through 2015 up to now. We saw the peace talks, wars, we saw U.S. pushing away from Israel, um, Iran getting ready to attack Israel, and Israel being alone. The upcoming blood moons, which will occur on the first day of the Passover holiday, which is April 4th, 2015, will be our third blood moon in this tetrad. What's amazing is there is a rare solar eclipse on May, March 20th, 2015. Having a solar eclipse just before the blood moon happens only every 100,000 years, especially in the tetrads that lands on the Jewish holidays. Um, we have been on Earth for about almost 6,000 years, and the Earth will make it in 100,000 years because we are in the last hours of the last days. So, this solar eclipse and this blood moon is huge signs from God. That's why 2015 could be very eventful. Let me take you to Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let the let them be for signs and for reasons or excuse me and for seasons and for the days and years let me take you to Luke chapter 21 verse 11 and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven and lastly I'll take you to Luke chapter 21 verse 25 and there should be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves warring. Okay, is God telling us something? I think he's telling us that we need to get ready. 2015 and on, we're going to see a lot of prophecies get fulfilled here. And we could be in the generation when Jesus returns. And I pretty much think we are. Things might seem quiet right now where you're at, but Jesus could come now. Would you be ready? You better get ready because Jesus come back very, very soon. Jesus loves you. God bless.